Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'll be reviewing Chelsea's 3-0 win over Wolverhampton Wanderers at Stamford Bridge um, and yeah it was a good win for, for, for Chelsea on uh, Saturday I thought that yeah, when I saw the team sheet an hour before kickoff, I was like, what is Potter doing? Because um, normally when we've rotated the whole entire team before, you know, it usually goes wrong and we usually, you know, draw or drop points by, you know, losing, especially a team like Wolves. We normally, you know, can't break them down and they usually like nick a point or something like that. So, yeah, I would, fair play to Graham Potter with his team selection. I thought um, he's really, you know, like, you can see the difference in the team. We move it forward more. And I feel like he's building a bit of team cohesion there because, um, I mean, to put the faith in a whole rotation of the whole team uh, takes some doing. And um, to get a 3-0 a convincing win was spot on. So fair play because I didn't expect that. And I, I'm not going to lie, I was one of the doubters for that. Um, and, yeah, also it was nice to get a, a bit of a routine win where we didn't play, you know, amazingly well or anything like that we just did what we had to do to win and the reason why that was so pleasing is because recently over the last few seasons Chelsea have like stumbled and you know found it hard to get these sort of wins when normally last year we'd like come off the back of a win uh, against AC Milan and we'd like draw one all by you know getting one nil up and then conceding a stupid goal in like the 70th minute or something like that and then fail to break the team down. So that was really pleasing. Uh, I thought Ruben Loftus-Cheek was solid again in midfield. I think he's really come into fruition. Um, he's playing really well and it's, it's really nice to see given how big his injury was that sort of, you know, hampered a bit of his career. Um, I thought that we're sort of building momentum, which is nice. You know, hopefully we can go on a nice run now until the World Cup. Um, we've got Milan you know, on Tuesday in the Champions League at the San Siro. So hopefully that, that's a big game which we need to win. Uh, hopefully this momentum now has given us confidence to start performing and, you know, go on a bit of a, a run so, so we can try and mount a bit of a challenge, whether that's in the league or, you know, across the uh, the cup competitions. It was also good to see uh, Mason Mount get um, get a couple of assists on the weekend because from the Twitter fan, fan base, the Twitter army that seems to just hate him for some reason, and I have no idea why because he's class. Um, you know, he could he, sh he shut them up for a bit with a, with a couple of assists. So hopefully, he can get back to to the levels he was at last season. Um, it was nice to see uh, Chaloba also slot in um, and not put a foot wrong, as as Kepa since he's um, sort of st stood in for Mendy. And you know, Mendy's going to have to work extremely hard if he wants to get a get that first team spot back because Kepa at the moment has has done nothing wrong and, he, and he's playing quite well. Uh, it was good also to see Brozier um, get his first goal for the club because I think he is literally the future. And um, it was a bit of a coincidence that the return of Diego Costa, um, I felt like it was like the bat, the passing of the baton because I think Brozier could be our next Diego Costa. He's, he's physically strong, he's quick. And uh, yeah, I just think, you know, in the future, he could be our main target man. Um, and yeah, and just on that Diego Costa, it was it was great to see him get the reception that he, he got because he really deserved that. And all us Chelsea fans were really devastated when he left. Um, but, you know, there was another Conte falling out. And he, he said that after the game uh, to ESPN Brazil that, you know, his problem was always with Conte. So he might have stayed. Who knows? Um, but yeah, like the game's coming thick and fast so we've got Milan now and a uh, big game that we need to win if we you know to get out that Champions League group so hopefully we win that and uh, yeah up the Chelsea